Human rights is always a project in the process of realization. And if you think it's if if you think that is the best you can get, then you're not doing good enough. Uh, since 1999, our challenges have increased. But that is partly also because of the history of where we were coming from. Our institutions were weak. When you unleash freedoms on weak institutions, you can create violence. And that is where we are. But this is not a fate. It can get better. We can improve with better government, with better elections, with public officers who believe in improving the people educating our people, providing basic infrastructure, guaranteeing access to health, improving life expectancy. When you do that, your country improves automatically. And I do think we do stand a future, but we do face serious challenges. I think it's the greatest thing that's happened to the country to have had 14 years of uh, democracy. And one, and one, and one prays that that continues. But what I want to see more is truly representative government and uh, truly representative uh, 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 elected uh, uh, the people in our various uh, uh, houses of assembly and the national assembly itself. What I'm saying in fact is simply this, that we should learn to allow the people decide who they want not nominees of any group or any individuals that say they are powerful. The more you have a true representative government and the more we have people who truly represent their people, the more they are likely to serve the interests of their people. Democracy has uh, contributed to expansion of uh, banking services and um, it has led to innovations in banking you know, products and also the current reforms that are taking place are possible because of the existence of democracy. Unlike when under the military regime, a lot of people were constrained, even now, if there are problems in the banking sector, as we saw in the last two or three years, they were pushed through the court system, the judiciary, as against dumping people, uh, you know, and they just crossed away, like, during the military regime. Journalism and democracy go hand in hand. Each democracy helps in projecting press freedom. And press freedom also affects the practice of democracy. So I believe that generally the, the, the democratic practice in the country has helped the growth of press freedom and the press generally. And I believe that in the next few years we will have a much better uh, press than we now have, in spite of the constraints of our democracy. I remember when Abasha was ruling, we all know we were restricted to so many things. But democracy has been very nice. Democracy has been fantastic. So it gives you the go-ahead to do whatsoever you want to do. Do the go-ahead because I've been seeing you. Because I believe during Abacha or during whatever time, the entertainment wasn't like this. But the dividend of democracy, democracy coming to Nigeria, you see everybody's doing anything you want to do, any idea, the government will buy it, anything you want to do, the government will buy it. So democracy is fantastic. Anytime, any moment is the best, understand? The best, the best, anytime, and, and really helping Nigeria. Because I must confess to you, you see people, you, 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 you see the likes of people coming out with little ideas, and you see people buying their concepts. They're buying their concepts, but in terms of uh, our military, you find that people will be scared to do one or two things, but now people are free, they go to anywhere they want to go, they do whatsoever they want to do. Check what the president did of recent to the northern side, I must confess, I love the idea, I understand, I love the idea, but what, what amazed me that at least you have removed the governor. Remove the governor, but putting the governor there, I understand. You don't want to bring military, don't want military to take over because bringing three governor, bringing three military soldiers, there might be something, there might be chaos in the stand. But for making that thing, I guess democracy is the best because army would have sanctioned, in fact, would have done, gone beyond, you know. But democracy is the best. I'm enjoying democracy, that's why I can walk freely. Nobody's charging me, no harm is harassing me. I can do whatever I want to do freely. Well, our democracy will be strengthened if. The players go by the rules. 
the, the, uh, the leaders who go by the constitution and the, the, the followers you know, uh, you know, also will support the rulers. But for this democracy to thrive, there must be commitment, patriotism on our people. We must put Nigeria first above pride or you know other ethnic reasons. And also there must be strong concerted effort towards at tackling corruption. Because this country, this democracy cannot succeed without addressing inequality. And that inequality comes in because of corruption, where some people will benefit from the system simply because they are in a position, while others are working very hard. Productivity is high, but they are not getting anything. That is the cause of Boko Haram, because of other instabilities and militancy. And again, government should show human face. We've got to get a mix of measures. We, we can't continue to shoot our way out of problems. You see, we've had crises in every part of Nigeria, and the response has been the same. You can, the military has a limited purpose, and the, it is important that best when you deploy them for that limited purpose. And I think we need to reinvest in our police and make our police better, make our police perform, make our police fulfill their basic constitutional responsibility. And when they do that, the military can complement them in times of difficulty, but that's about it. And at the moment, we are not doing that. We are making the military the primary, the primary defender of our law and order and safety and security. And that is putting us in serious difficulty. We hope that if this democracy continues and there is stability that does not call for military incursion into politics, then there are better future for everybody. Very well, you've done very, very well. Um, because we now have democracy, we're able to practice freely. We're able to see our mind. You see us today castigating government agencies. Before, you couldn't have done that. But now we're able to see our mind freely. Now we're able to practice. We're able to earn our living without being molested. Apart from issues of terrorism, kidnapping, crimes, which we believe IT can do, democracy has been the best for us. Lastly, also from our side, we believe the country has done very well. We've changed government now. I think this is the fourth one. Uh, we come into. We've done very well as a nation. We just 50 years. We need to give ourselves a lot of credence. We need to give ourselves a lot of kudos that we've done very well as a nation. We're not there yet, but no human being will ever get there. It takes a while for you as a nation to develop. Our children are doing very well. The society is good. Comparing ourselves to other countries, we've done excellently well. And I give a good round of applause to we as Nigerians. Thank God you bless Nigeria. Thank you.